Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kill here. So today I'm going to show you how you can increase the lag in Arma 2 and DayZ. Yes, a lot of people get this problem, but um, nevertheless, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So, a lot of people get this um, problem. It's a very big troubleshooting in the DayZ community and not a lot of people know how to fix it. Um, so I decided, I actually um, found out how to fix it from friends, so um, I'm just going to spread uh, the word. So to fix it, it is very simple. All you need to do is uh, a couple steps. I'm going to write a tutorial on the description and what you're going to need, is, you can find it in the description as well. So a lot of people get this problem when they first start and get the game. like. They experience this very big lag that gets in the way and it's really hard to play DayZ and it really, you know, takes out of the experience. It, it really stops all the fun that you're having and it makes you want to just throw away your laptop and just like stop playing. Maybe kick a dog lightly. But um, <coughs> anyways, to fix this, it's going to be very simple. Um, you're going to probably only need one thing, but um, and that's for a different thing that's going to be mentioned at the end. So first you want to do is you want to click start menu and you want to go to documents. You want to go to Arma 2 and what you're going to find are these two files, arma2.cfg or arma2.operationarrowhead.cfg. Um, you only have this if you bought Operation Arrowhead as well. <coughs> For like, let's say if you play DayZ, then of course you're going to have to have this. But um... Yeah, if you have Daisy or if you bought Operation Red, you have to edit these two files. But if you just bought Arma 2, then you know you'd only have to edit this file because this file won't even be here. So what you want to do is you want to open up these two files. You want to right or left click. I can't tell which one. And then you want to go to uh, actually I guess it has to be one by one. So you want to go to Arma 2, open with, and then you want to click on the Notepad. When you open it up, you're gonna see all these weird things. Don't mess with any of it, any of it except GPU, these GPU texts. <coughs> so you're gonna see GPU max frames ahead. Now you're gonna see these numbers, and it's gonna be about five um, numbers, five to four. And what you wanna do is delete them and switch, change them to one, and then you're good to go. Then you wanna do the same thing to this file as well. Just go to open with <coughs> notepad and then go down and you'll see it right here. GP max frames one one. That's what you want to do. Then you're good to go. That's it. That's basically all you need to do, guys. I know it's a very simple tutorial. It was really easy. But if you're still having a little bit of lag and you just want to kick that out of the way, what you can always do is install a G Booster Game Booster. I <coughs> I um Sorry I'm coughing so much, I'm actually kind of sick, but um, I suggest Game Booster, or not Game Booster, I suggest GBoost, because Game Booster, you can only run one program, and then once you run that program, it, you know, cuts out every other program that you really don't need to use, but with GBoost, it cuts out every program, but you can still go to any program that you want, that's going to be very helpful for Daisy users if you're using Daisy Commander or Playroom 6, but, you know, Game Booster will work if you're just going to run Arma 2. So, you know, links will be in the description for G Booster, Game Booster, um, and, uh, you know, text tutorial. Alright, guys, so that's it for today. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, you know, you know the drill. Um, you know, I, um, when you subscribe, send me feedback, it actually motivates me. So, that's it for today, guys. I'm actually, um, gonna start making my outros like this but uh as you can see i'm already <laughs> i'm already editing this video but um you know the drill comment read, subscribe this is the xg killer signing out peace see ya